this is Faith of Faith and Books. How are you doing? I thought that I would do something to celebrate having 700 subscribers. So I, 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 for like the last month, it's been about 711 ticking up a little bit um, and then coming back down again. Um, and I never aspired to have a lot of subscribers. It's just flabbergasting to me that I do. Um, and I've been around for four years now, I think. So it's been very slow growth, which is fine with me because I don't feel like I produce the flashiest content or whatever. I feel um, I feel very insecure about my little channel. And so I like sort of keeping it small, um, but it's amazing. I'm just, I'm really flattered that people have subscribed. So, um, and a lot of them came, I mean, not a lot, not a lot of them, a lot of you came after the uh, video I did about the passing of Jennifer Brooks. I got almost a hundred subscribers. So that was amazing. So it was like a little gift from, from Jenny. Um, anyway, I thought I should do something to celebrate it. So pardon the bad lighting. My, I can't find the cord to my new ring light. So, so I've got bad lighting, but anyway, uh, I just thought I'd do this quick video. So I tried to come up with seven um, uh, YouTube channels that I could shout out. So I'm going to do shout outs to celebrate 700 plus subscribers. And I couldn't stick to seven. I thought seven would correspond with about 700. So, but, uh, so I've got 12. And uh, some of these I have known for a while. And some are brand new to me. And I think Several of these are are people who have um, been leaving comments in um, on my on my uh, videos recently. So, and these are tend to be smaller um, channels. There's one. The last one that I'm going to mention is not a small channel, or you know, and by that I mean over a thousand. Um, um, but I've just discovered him and I, I really am eating up his content because I, I really, uh, I really am enjoying all the books he's talking about. Anyway, let me just start, um, out and go through these 12, um, channels and I will link them all below. So the first one is Courtney Reads. I had not heard of Courtney, but, she, um, I'm in a boxer group because Christy Lewis, who's so creative, is, um, going to have a, uh, oh, what is she calling it? Red September, where we're going to have a readathon about communism and we're focusing on the Soviet Union and the Soviet satellite states. And uh, so Courtney is in that group. And um, so I started watching her channel. She has a small channel, but, uh, and and she, she reads a wide variety of things and talks about a wide variety of things, some of which I don't have interest in. Like she was talking about Hallmark movies. I don't think I've ever watched a Hallmark movie all the way through, except maybe when I was a kid. Um, but she also like really knows Dostoevsky and she's read two out of the three volumes of Gulag Archipelago. So, I mean, she's just really a wide taste. And she's also a writer. She was talking about writing. Um, and she's, I think she's self-published some books. So I find her really interesting. I like her delivery. I like her calm voice. Um, and so Courtney Reed, she needs more subscribers. And then uh, another one that I've been going to for a while, but I think it's, um, she's still very, fairly small, but uh, very interesting and a wide breadth of topics is Ursula's Odds and Ends. Um, I, she always has something really interesting to say. So I enjoy, I don't comment on her channel as much as I ought to, um, but um, I, I do that a lot. I, I'll be watching somebody's video and I'll get like three fourths of the way through and then I get distracted and then I can, or, or I'm going to make a comment and then I get distracted and then I never go back and make a comment. Um, that happens to me a lot. But, um, but anyway, Ursula's Odds and Ends. She's really interesting. Um, I can't remember now the most recent video I watched. Oh, it was something, it was some kind of children's literature or something. She's also a great Dante devotee. Um, so it, she's very interesting. Um, the next one is a, a new to me, Reading Ideas. 
I, I just caught, I think I've seen a couple of his videos. The last one that I just caught was kind of lovely. It was, he was doing a, just a, um, just shots of panning, panning shots of his uh, green penguins. I'd forgotten about green penguins, um, among other books that he has. I think that he must be Irish or Scottish or something. I don't, I don't want to insult him, but he's got some kind of accent to my American ear. Um, but I think it's, he's got, a, an interesting channel. And then another, um, channel that I've been watching recently is Bookless Pete. And I think he's just starting out as well. Um, and he needs more subscribers and he's just, um, you know, a gentleman, maybe a, more my age, uh, discussing, um, interesting books, books he wants to read. He's talking about, uh, trying to read the rise and fall of the, uh, Roman empire by Gibbon, uh, for March of the Madness, uh, March, of the mammoths, rather. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, book was Pete. Uh, the next one, uh, number five, is Amy of Hearthridge. Uh, she has a wide variety of books uh, that she likes to read, and many of them overlap with my own tastes. Um, and she's just, just a charming channel. Uh, I like her delivery, her tone. Um, so I've been enjoying her content lately. What was the last thing that I saw that, mm, my memory. Um, anyway, go to Amy of Hearthridge. She has a good channel. Uh, the next one, number six, is Libro Paradiso. Uh, I, and I'm guessing he's of Italian descent. Um, and he's got kind of a dramatic um, a way of presenting things, very thought-provoking, really uh, talking about ideas. Um, and just an interesting channel. I think he's also pretty new and, uh, and so go subscribe to him. Uh, number seven. Okay. And the next three are, are women that I have known for a while on booktube for at least a couple of years. And, um, and I, I've been regulars at their, uh, channels. Uh, the first is, uh, Linda at Elder Talk. I consider Linda, my friend, we've done uh, buddy reads together and I've read, she's also an author, a self-published author. I've read one of her books, um, that she wrote and she has uh, a wide variety too. She's Christian. So she talks about her Christian, uh, things that she reads. She is also doing the Newberry medal. She's trying to read all the books, all the Newberry books. And then she does other challenges too. Um, so I really like Linda Joe and, and she's been through a lot. Her house burned down. She was, you know, she had to live in a, um, I don't know what it was. It was a, it was a borrowed camper basically. Um, for, and, and now she's just, uh, finished building, re, uh, building a new home on her property. Um, so she's been through quite the ringer. Um, coming through on the other side and, and, uh, she's got a very interesting channel. She also talks about art a lot and talk about nature. Uh, so yeah, I really like Linda. And then there's Arion at Book Zealots and her son Prometheus often joins in. Arion's very opinionated and, um, and quite zealous and she cracks me up every uh, whenever she gets upset with the book she'll throw it <laughs> and it cracks me up every time because I've actually done that a couple of times in my life where I've been so angry at a book I've chucked it across the room um so I, I get like a visceral sense of satisfaction <laughs> when she does it so she's she's uh you know she's quite a character um and she reads I don't know how much our tastes actually overlap but she reads a lot of nonfiction and, uh, she's, uh, she does historathon and, um, I, I get a lot of, um, I hear about a lot of books from her that I don't think I would hear about, um, necessarily if I didn't go watch her. So, and then number nine is knitting books, etc., And that's Christina and she's from Portugal and, um, she had a channel. I mean, she has a channel, but she took a long break because she kind of burned out and then she just had to take time off. And now she's come back this year. She's come back and she just has so much personality and she's a lot of insight. 
and I just enjoy her personality a lot. And I, I, I really, anytime Christine is in on a book read or something, you know that you're going to hear some really good stuff. So I enjoy her channel a lot. And then number 10 is, he might be a little bit bigger than, than I am, by that I mean having more subscribers. And that is Matt at Bask in the uh, Story. I did not know about Matt until I started um, the readathon. There's no place like Rome and he volunteered to co-host. And since then I've been enjoying his content. And he has a uh, he has a wide variety uh, of what he likes to read. Some of it overlaps with my own interests. Some of it doesn't. But I just think his channel is lovely, and um, I really en enjoy um, hearing him talk about books. So uh, that's Matt at Bask in the Story. And then number eleven is In Search of Wonder. I think that, yeah, I think I wrote this down, but, you know, I didn't double check it. It's at, at In Search of Wonder, and um, I think the woman's name is Anne, and I've just recently been, been watching her. She's, she's very chatty, you know, she just chats into the camera like I'm doing, um, but I love her, I love to hear her chat, and um, she's got, uh, I like to hear her opinions of books that she reads, and we have a lot of similar tastes. Uh, so I, I just enjoy her channel a lot. And then the last one, number 12, is a bigger channel. I think it might have over 1,000, maybe 2,000. I, I forget. But uh, this is Triumphal Reads. I think his name is Justin. And he did comment. Like, I I heard about him through, through uh, Matt at Baskin's Story. I went and checked out his content. Was really enjoying it. And then I went back to read something, something to do with, um, there's no place like Roman. And I noticed that he had commented. And I, I just hadn't, I look at all my comments, but, um, I just hadn't remembered the name. So, so it's like, oh yeah, this this guy. And he commented on my, on my video. Anyway, I, I am really enjoying his content. He ha does a lot of classic history and he does a lot of nonfiction. I think maybe only nonfiction so far that I've seen, but a lot of the things that interest him are things that also interest me. And so I've just been really, in, he's just a wealth of, of information about, lots of books. And so I am enjoying his content a lot. So those are my 12 shout outs. Courtney Reads, Ursula's Odds and Ends, Reading Ideas, Bookless Pete, Amy of Hearthridge, Libro Paradiso, Elder Talk, Book Zealots, Knitting Books, etc., Bask in the Story, In Search of Wonder, and Triumphal Reads. So I will put all those links below. And um, it was fun kind of uh, trying to come up with this list. If I left anyone out, I am so, so sorry. I didn't, I mean, I'm sure there's other people that I should shout out, but I'm just thinking of people who've been lately commenting on my channel. Did I leave anyone out? I don't know. And I, I really apologize. And I think just to be a, a considerate booktuber, it's a good thing to regularly do shout outs. You know who's really good at this is um, books I'm not reading. She's really good at, um, Kelly, she's really good at, at, at thinking about the booktube community and welcoming people who are just starting booktube channels and that sort of thing. Um, so I want to be more like her, be more considerate. So it's not that I mean to be inconsiderate, it's just that I'm scatterbrained. But I think if I... Um, tried to do this seasonally like maybe this will be my spring shout out and then I'll do a summer fall winter just make sure that like about every three months I do shout outs of, for for channels that I've come across and that I really appreciate their content so all right so I hope you are doing well and happy reading bye-bye